Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Sister Sandra. Praise my Master Jesus. You are all welcome. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. You are welcome to Rain Sunday service. God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I will call on our brother, Brother Sunday, to give us a opening prayer, sir. Five minutes opening prayer. God bless you, sir. Amen. Mm-hmm. Brother, let's rise up on our feet. You are God. You are the Lord. You are Lord. You are Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We glorify your name. We exalt your name. Mighty Father, King of all glory, Jehovah God, we thank you. We adore you, O Lord. We exalt you, O Lord. We reference you and magnify your holy name, Lord. Father, we thank you, O Lord, for making it possible, O Lord, for we to be in your presence this hour, Lord. Father, we thank you for this privilege. Mighty Redeemer, our nation today, we thank you, we exalt your name, we appreciate you, Lord. Father, by our power, it wouldn't have been done. By our strength, by our might, we cannot do it, Lord. Father, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love. And we thank you for your goodness upon our life. Father, I thank you, O Lord, for this service today, O Lord, for making it possible. Father, King of all glory, O Lord, I commit all, every one of us, O Lord, in your presence today to your hands, O Lord, Father, King of glory. Also, thank you, O Lord, I commit those who have not be here, O Lord, Father, O Lord, release your spirit, O Lord, to go and minister to them, O Lord, for them also, O Lord, be here this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, my King of, King of all glory, I thank you, O Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, and I ask, O God, as we hear your word today, O God Almighty, Father, King of glory, let it make an impact in our life. Let it bring changes in our spirit, man, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, O Lord, we are gathered in your presence, O Lord. We gather not by our power. Father, King of glory, as we gather, we also know, O Lord, there is also gathering out there, O Lord. Who are the enemy, O Lord, of this gathering this moment? Father, King of all glory, we come against them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. And we silence then we select every plus, every strategy they might have, O Lord, against this service today. Father, by the name of Jesus, we silence them in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against, we come against every arrow whatsoever they might be planning or doing against this service today, O Lord. Father, O Lord, we pray, O Lord, as we come against them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, the ever King of glory, I am that I am the beginning and the end, the ever faithful God. I commit everyone into your Hebrew and so Lord. Father, O oh Lord, release your spirit of understanding upon them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. As we begin to hear your word, O oh Lord, let it make an impact. Let it go directly, O Lord, as, you, as, we, as, we, as the spirit of understanding. Let it impact in our life, in our spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, O oh Lord, I also commit, O oh Lord, into your Hebrew hands. The servant of God, the man of God, O oh Lord, which you are going to use, O oh God, your word, Lord. Father, King of glory, O Lord, protect him, O Lord, guide him, O Lord. Father, empower him, O Lord, as your word come, from, from, come out from him, O Lord. Let it come out with power. Let your word come out from him, O Lord, with power, with power, with power in the name of Jesus. And let your word from him, O Lord, be a healing to our heart, a healing to our spirit, man. A healing, O Lord, to us in the mighty name of Jesus. And a blessing upon our life in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, O oh Lord, I commit this service today into your hebrew hands. I cover it all with the precious blood of Jesus. I cover every one of us all with the precious blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
Thank you very much, Brother Sunday, for that prayer. God bless you, sir. Uh, it's time for praise and worship. I call the choir from the headquarters to give us praise and worship. God bless you, among grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me take a little portion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's sit down and be worshiping God. It's too much to sit down and worship you. Please let me on our feet. Let me on our feet, please. Let me on our feet. Amen. Amen. You are highly fed up. There is no one like you. Thank you. 
Jesus mighty name. Amen. It's time for announcement. Okay. Praise the Lord. Rapture Ready SM Movement Worldwide is a heavenly mandated ministry instructed by the Lord Jesus Christ through a great body to bring us also to the kingdom of God. By populating heaven and depopulating hell. The movement is set to prepare the church for the rapture of the saints and the last day revival, revival of souls. The ministry is a part of the vision of Annie Electric Doze with divine encounters of heaven and hell and the, and the kingdom of darkness, having a youth body to set the earth on fire for Jesus. The ministry helps to save the hunger of billions of souls all over the world to love Jesus with all their hearts through 
a strong discipleship training. Revelational knowledge, the word of God, last day revival, and many more. The movement tends to reach out to souls all over the world through undiluted holiness and to let people see the power of the Holy Ghost as the Lord confirms this word with signs and wonders. Our goal is to set the earth on fire through a last day revival to make disciples of all race. Getting souls rapture ready and prepared for heaven. Delivering many from the yoke of bondage and sin. Exercising the fullness and operation of a fivefold ministry. Organizing deliverance, camping programs, and prayers all over the nation. Our vision, salvation, sanctification, undiluted holiness, Holy Ghost vitality, consecration, discipleship, power, fruit, and gift of the Holy Spirit. Great beliefs and the rapture, tribulation, deliverance, grace, water baptism, trinity, spiritual gifts, and the totality of the word of God. Country fellowship. Who would like to join our country fellowship in South Africa? Ghana, Germany, stroke Europe, USA, stroke Canada, United Kingdom, and spreading across Tunis. Weekly activities. Every, every one I say, Everyone is a Bible study from 6 p.m. Nigeria time. Every Thursday, charismatic fire from 6 p.m. Nigeria time. Every Friday, deliverance night VG from 1 a.m. Every Saturday, every first and last Saturday of the month, Brain Worldwide Stroke Lagos Prayer Revival from 1 p.m. Nigeria time. Children Fellowship, 4 p.m. Nigeria time. Sunday service, we have Good service on Sunday. Um, the first one starts by 9 a.m. Nigeria time, followed by discipleship class. Or the, why the second service uh, from 1 p.m. Nigeria time. Sisters and brothers, Sunday fellowship from 5 p.m. Nigeria time. Holy communion service every um, every Sunday of the month after service. Morning devotions. 5 a.m. country time, USA through Canada, Germany, Africa through Europe, United Kingdom through Thailand. The ministry gives in its tithes and offering through the ministry account to support the expansion of God's work and the heavenly mandate. Let's be faithful in our tithing and offerings, offering and seed sowing to avoid the devourer and the closed doors. Let's also support our ongoing deliverance camp project for deliverance in Lagos, Nigeria. For more information, counseling, please contact the man of God at rimworldwide at gmail.com. God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, let's continue our program. It's time to welcome our new member. If you know today is your first day of fellowshipping with us, please kindly unmute and so that we welcome you into the presence of the Lord. God bless you. If you know today, the new member, if you know today is your first time, please kindly unmute. Okay. Praise Master Jesus. If there is no new member today, we continue. It's time for testimony. Testimony time, blessing time. You know the Lord has done a great thing in your life. Please kindly unmute and share your testimony while we rejoice with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My God is alive. My God is alive. My God is alive. I can boast of my God. I want you to know, also as I know, that Jesus is alive. Oh Lord, yes, he's alive. My God is alive. Your God is alive. 
I just want to testify to the glory of God on my life. I just want to thank God for my soul. I just want to thank the Lord upon the life of the member, the member, the men of God. I just want to thank God because some sometimes, anytime the thing just flash me back to to see what is going on. Now when people are in the wrong place, even up till now, they are not even hearing the sound of the trumpet that Jesus is coming. And even me myself, if it's not by the grace of God, if it's not by his mercy and his love, I could have still been in that the same wrong place to be thinking that what I'm doing there is the right way or maybe short. I will even go to heaven, but I don't, maybe I may not even know that that is the uh, uh, quick ticket to air. So I just want to thank God that even when I go and make me to no rain, even sometimes, my, the way that maybe I will just do something that is not right, but the Lord has so loved me so much, so loved us so much. He will always there to show me something. Maybe through dream, I say, My daughter, this kind of thing that you just did can even make you to me. That he will always correct me. That is, show me some kind of dream or some kind of revelation. I just want to thank this God because He loves us so much and also He do not want us to go to and just enter that we are. A lot of people are in the wrong place, they don't even know, they don't care about their soul. But God brings us to this place to let us to know and also. So almost also con- correct you know every time anytime we go wrong that is the loving father we are i just want to glorify his name for always being there for me who fight my but and for the strength that is given me it's not by my power it's not because i'm too prayerful it's not because i'm too old it's not because i'm ju- I just i'm just nothing i'm not worthy to call upon his name but i just want to give him glory for all you are between for my life for my family even for the bread and the man of god the brothers who are god every one of them for god i've been using them so mightily in our, in our life i just want to give you praise all the credit to jesus he alone is world i just want to thank you and i pray my prayer is that the lord will make every one of us as we are coming together there and i be tasting praying and then the Lord will not make us to miss it. The Lord will make us to make this heaven. This heaven will not take us to our vomit and it will, will not make us to deny it. It will keep us till when it will come and we all see him on the last day. That is my prayer for everyone. As I pray for myself. I pray for everyone. The Lord will help us and I pray that his name he that keep me alive, keep you alive. Keep every one of us strong and healthy. May his name be glorified. All the glory to Jesus. All the glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That is my name. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 We thank God for your life, Sister Joy. God bless you. That is a wonderful testimony. We thank God for what the Lord is doing in your life and what is using you to do also. I thank God for your life, for that correction. May his name be praised forevermore in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Any other testimony? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, I want to testify to the glory of God how faithful he has been to me and my family. I've never seen a faithful God like that. That despite our unfaithfulness, he still remains faithful. In fact, I want to thank God that even at this age, I see his hand resting upon me. Because he has promised that even in old age, I'll be able to bear fruit. And I'm always holding him by his promise. In fact, I, cannot, I don't know when last I became sick, but the glory goes back to him. Then there are revelations he gives us in the family. In fact, even through my grandchildren, if the the spirit of death wants to strike, he reveals it and we pray and send it back. Uh, I don't even know what to say, but I'm just giving God the glory. The only thing is that I am like Oliver Twist. I want him to do more to me especially to allow my, my family to understand this uh, message of holiness. Because anointing is just for service, but holiness is for heaven. So my prayer is that he will truly bring them to that knowledge before they leave this earth. Praise the living God. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God. We thank God for your life, Ma. God bless you. We thank God for what the Lord is doing in your life. We thank God for the good eggs and everything. May the Lord continue to guide and protect you and your household in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hello. 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 Because when we were prepared for our marriage, my aunt died for me. He said, his brother of this, my daughter. And I said, I will have to announce that that he did not tell me that they are not the husband, that this boy is telling me that one of this is the He told me to tell me that you are prepared for our marriage. So I said, I will tell you that you are telling me that you are not the husband. So as I started, I keep on praying that, and, and that guy is for my village. Because in my, in my family, this kind of stuff never happened in my house before. We are friends, no one that ever come and pray that friend. Because the only thing that pray to you. So the guy is still trying to tell me that he's only a this year. So I thank God that I start praying. I thank God everything went successfully. We try to work the stuff. I said, God, please, I want her to let this guy just keep her mouth shut. Let what she has to So everything is going to get the stuff to me. I thank God for everything. So I'm going to get the stuff to me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for that wonderful testimony. Uh, we thank God for your life. Your testimony shall be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Praise the Lord. Any other testimony? Okay. If there is no testimony, I think I will just share my own testimony. I have a testimony also. Before I share my testimony, just thanks giving to the Lord. Just thanks thanksgiving to the Lord before I give my thanksgiving before I share my testimony let me quickly sing to the glory of God praise the Lord forever you will be forever the love of all the truth the Lamb of all the throne, I gladly bow my knee, gladly bow my knee, to worship you, my Lord, forever you will be, oh, forever, the Lamb of all the throne, the Lamb of all the throne. I slowly bow my knee, slowly bow my knee, to worship you, my Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I just want to thank God Almighty. I just want to thank God for what he's doing in my life. I just want to thank God for his faithfulness, for his kindness, for his mercy. For his protection for everything that he's doing in my life. I just want to say thank you, Jesus. I just want to thank God for what he's also using me to do. I just want to thank God because at times, sometimes we may be doing the things of God. We will not even know the, the we will not even know what the people that we are touching. We will not even know that the people that are being blessed because of what we are doing. But the people will just start testifying, sharing their testimony, then you will know that yes, God is really using you. I'm just giving thanks to the Almighty God. I'm just thanking God for what He's doing in my life. I know it's not by my power. It's not by my. It's not. I'm not even. I'm not even. Uh, I don't even want it to be used that way. But Jesus chose. He chose His own way. He chose His own way, and He touched my life. He made me that which He wants me to be. I just want to say thank you, Jesus, for coming into my life. I just want to say thank you, Jesus, for using me for his own glory. I just want to say, Jesus, may your name be praised. I just want to give glory and honor to my father. 
I just say thank you, Jesus, for what you are doing in my life. I just say thank you, Jesus. All glory and honor be given unto you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. That is my testimony. That is my thanksgiving to the Almighty God. So we continue our program. Um, it's time for Bible, Bible reading. Praise the Lord. Any other? Any anyone from the Bible reading group can take it. God bless you. Praise Hallelujah. The Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Open your Bible. Bring up your Bible. Put your Bible in the book of John. John chapter 3. Okay, before we read, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank thee, O Lord. We give you the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, we lift up your name above every other name. We thank you for grace, mercy, privilege, O Lord, to come before you today. Lord, as we are about to read your word, bless us through your word. Teach us your word. Let your word be a fruit in us. Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Verse 5. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. 6. That which is, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, Ye must be born in him. The wind bloweth where it listed, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot not tell whence it cometh. Whether it goeth, so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. 9. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Sixteen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world, but not the world, but that the world through him might be saved. 
He that believed on him is not condemned, but he that believed not in, believed not, is condemned already, because he had not believed in his name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds we are evil. 20. For everyone that does evil, hated the light, neither come to the light, lest his deed should be reproved. 21. The light. But he that does truth, come to the light, that his deed may be made manifest, that they are wrong in God. May the God Almighty bless his written of his word. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, uh, Brother Godwin. God bless you, sir. Okay. It's time for choir administration. We call the choir from the airport. Sir. Over to you. Oh, God bless you. Oh, Oh, so internet the woman of Oh, 
the greatest. I know I preached about this today. And so and I had to take a recapture. Because then when I preached this sermon to a stage, love is the greatest. Everything you do in love can never be cast away. Everything I do in love has great spiritual effects. Everything you do in love has a wonderful effect in the world of the spirit. If you preach in love, it will have effect on the people. If you give with love, you will get your reward from the Lord. Anything you do with love, you are singing and you sing with love in your heart for the Lord, you must get your blessings from him. Anything you do, that's why the Bible says, perfect love, cast out of here. What it means is that where love is made perfect, nothing can stand in the way. Where love is made perfect in your household, nothing can stand in the way. Where everything is done with love, with love in your heart, nothing can stand in the way. Do you know that if you pray, if you pray with love in your heart for somebody, that prayer will answer. Love is a strong point. Love is too powerful. And when you have the love of God inside of your heart, anything you are doing at that moment, we make ways. I know that God will perfect this love in our life, in our family, in our ministry, in everything we do, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. It is this same love that will make you look at others. And you know, even though they have done all kinds of wicked things to you, you say, I forgive you. The Lord bless you. My brothers and sisters, nothing can conquer the hand of the Lord. Love itself can heal the wound. It can bring two people together that were in great hatred for themselves. That's what love can do. That's what the law can do. As however, any principle of love that we adopt, whether it is agape love, whether it is erotic love, somehow it still has an influence in the spiritual world. Which means that anytime you are showing up love, it's like you are calling for the name of Jesus Christ. Why? Because Jesus Christ is that same man of love. That same man is the embodiment of love. Is everything you can ever imagine. I know God will do his work in our life. There are some kids who will go to look at, you know, and we're going to look at loving God with all your hearts. Loving till the end. How can I love till the end? You know, there is no ending to love. Somebody does you bad, you still have to love him. He does you bad again, you still have to love him. Somebody does you wicked sin, or he injures you, or he kills your morale, or he does something to you. You still have to love. I mean, God did not give any enjoyment to stop loving. Like saying that, oh, if this person did this right now, stop loving the person. No, you are called to love. That's what is called loving till the end. Till the end of your life here on earth, you are called to love. You are not called to hate. You, are not called, you must not make anybody your friend, but you must love them in your heart. Which means loving them in your heart is that you all know grudge against them. If you love, where is gossip? Where is holding grudges? Where is malice? Where is fighting? Where is quarreling? My God, you are going to live a wonderful life. Your family is going to be like it's going to be like heaven on earth because the love is so strong and the love is so abundant and you know that the power and the peace of God will take place wherever there is love. Every demon spirit tears apart. Every demon spirit goes away. Love. That there is love does not mean that you should not speak the truth. The Bible even says speak the truth in love. In love. So which means that so, which means that, what does it mean? Which means that the Lord wants me to show love no matter what. We'll show love to everyone. Amen. We'll show love to everyone in this ministry. Amen. That's why if you watch the rest, it's not just about holiness. It's not just about power. It's also about love. Holiness, love, and power. Love. Love is the key principle of it. That you love know, does not mean that you should not do the things you want to do. No, you will do it. But in your heart, you are doing it with an understanding that you have this person in mind. 
I don't call you peace work in our life in the name of Jesus. I know the Lord will bless us today. Amen. In this mindset of love, everywhere we go, His power will shoot us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I say His power will shoot us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's do that match. Let's do that match. Matthew 22. Matthew 22. You don't know that if you don't love God, you cannot even worship Him. And we are singing and worshiping and dancing to God. If you don't have love in your heart, you won't be able to do that. It's the love. Love of what Jesus has done for you. Love of what Jesus has done for me. Love of everything that God has done for me. Even before the Bible says, why you were yet a sinner. Which means why I was still watching pornography. Why I was still enjoying myself in the world. Why I was still destroying my life in the world. Christ died for me. All those things that have been written in the book of life before the foundations of the world. Some of them are not still in the kingdom right now. But one thing I know, the love of God will bring them close. They might not be in the kingdom right now, but they will come to the Lord. I know they will come to the Lord. That's why some of us that have come to the Lord, you know what? God was thinking about you. I said, when will my daughter come to the Lord? When will my son come to the Lord? I want him to come to the Lord. I want him to come to me. And God did everything. He was the one bringing all those people to talk to you. Why are you going to go? That person we have the body in his hands. I, I feel like going out to preach. You think it's you? You don't know that a spirit, the spirit of God is never pushing you. say, go and preach, go and preach, go and preach. Go and that my daughter. Go and that my son. Go and be this. Go and preach to him. And people were coming to you. God said, up to 30 persons to come to you. Before the last person now came to you. And you now said, I surrender all to the Lord. It's love. We will never understand the mightiness of God's love until we get to heaven. The way love, that's why if you have the spirit of God, you will love more. You will love more more than the people of the world. Because there's something I realize about this love. This love is so deep. As in, I'm talking that the love that God has for us, if you carry that same spirit of God, as in, you will carry his nature of God inside of you. So, which means that if I'm looking at somebody, you're thinking at somebody, I'm thinking like, oh, because Jesus told me. It's like a mystery you cannot understand. Because of the love that God has shown to you, he will pour it in your heart. That's why the Bible says, the Lord shed a prayer. He will pour it in your heart. And you will begin to manifest that thing inside of you, inside of you also. That's why the best set of people to love are believers, not unbelievers. All believers will love you for what they can get from you. That's not the love of the kingdom. The love of the kingdom is not like that. Like a story I was I was listening to on somebody that saw her or something like that. And she was like, the boss wanted to sleep with her. Okay, the boss slept with her, then she now wanted to commit abortion. So that's when she now fell into a kind of trouble or something. Maybe you are here, you want to commit abortion. You will die if you give you. So go ahead and complete. You know, because I mean, I'm telling you the simple truth. At that moment, you just you just lose it. You have the baby like that, keep the baby, and I know that God will take care of that child. And that girl wanted to do something like that. All of a sudden, she found herself in hell. <laughs> you know what she said? That's why we tell people, repent, repent. They say, no, no, no. She doesn't say, this is your picture, it's funny. No, no, we can't take it anymore. She said, but, but I've been on earth. Why is it that we don't need to think that this place exists? Why is it that when we are on earth, we think everything is okay? Everything is all right. The whole world is fine. You know, everything is peace, joy, everything. We think that nothing is happening. And the Lord said, it is because Satan has blindfolded the world. He has blindfolded the world. It is the love of Jesus Christ that rescues you and I. It is the love of Jesus Christ that rescues you and I. And I know that the love of God will bring us to heaven. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, the way, if I go to scripture, the way the people of the world, this week, so the voice.
the two past 34. We are going to learn. In spite of the pain that she has caused you, you will learn. In spite of the pain he has caused you, you will learn. In spite of the pain someone has caused you, you are going to love in the name of Jesus Christ. Matthew 22, verse 34. It says, Matthew 22, verse 34 to 34. I'm going to read um, from, from verse 37. Jesus said unto them, Thou shalt know thy Lord, thou shalt know the Lord thy God, with all thy heart. Did he say with half of your heart? Did he say with 50% of your heart? It is impossible to do this thing without the Spirit of God, without the Holy Spirit. Yes, Matthew 22, verse 37. Yes, that's 7 to 4. Okay, he says, Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt know the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy heart, sorry, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Which means that he says, Everything inside of you, you need to know. Everything, everything inside of you, everything, your strength, your finances, your money, your strength, everything inside of you, your heart, your mind. Your intellect, your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding, your degree, everything you think you have received, everything, your workplace, everything that you have, you must use it as a means to serve the Lord. In answer to verse 18, this is the first and the great commandment. You know, let me, let, me, let me confess to you. Let me confess something to you. I believe that Jesus is giving us an experience. Hallelujah. Are you people hearing the man of God? I'm not hearing him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, so I said that this love this love will not make you to do good things in the world. I was like, I was with my brother and then we were doing something and then somebody sent me a message. To do something for him. Now say, please don't share this message with anyone. I mean, I don't know. For me, I wanted, as a most times, my phone might not be with me. Look at this thing. What, what do you think I should do here? And I now read the message, and I also this message say, don't share this thing with my God. What would I do? If I talk to this person, I feel look as if I'm not a trustworthy person. But I answered the person what he wanted me to do, but I know that I have done something that is bad here. You might look this way, but I know that if I die at that moment, I can't go to them personally for me, I know. Because I know that sin is disobedient to something. Or when you don't have peace in your heart, whenever I don't have peace in my heart, whenever I don't have the joy of the Spirit in my heart, you know that you have sinned against God. So don't be looking for a scripture and be saying, ah, did the Bible say if I don't show somebody my message, I've sinned against God? If you are doing like that, you will go to heaven. But if you are living by the inner weakness inside of you, that's why you receive the Holy Spirit. Then what happened? I felt the storm. In my mind, I was thinking, how would I say this thing? How would I say it? Something told me that I'll say it. Would it give you? Would you die? You will die. What will happen to you? Listen to me very much. Really. God allowed that thing to happen. You know why? Every time you overcome sin, you rise up in the spirit. Every time you overcome sin, God can entrust something to you. Every time you overcome sin, you open put a door in the realm of the Spirit. So you know what? Also, see, sometimes when we do the right thing, you don't know what God is trying to do. God might be also trying to teach that person 
Sometimes when you live rightly, you will help others to live rightly. Maybe as I have done that thing, if that brother has not done something like that before, you say, ah, for this person to do this thing now, it means that I should do the same. What am I saying? But you are doing it because of the love of God in your heart. I don't want to offend the Lord. I want to please the Lord. Do you know what the Lord said about David? He said, I have found a man after my own heart. A man that will do all that I want him to do. He was talking about Saul. Look at this disobedient thing. I told him to do something and it's been like this. Don't worry. I'll take the issue from you. I'll give it to your brother David. I'll give it to that man. That man you see. That man you see. I'll give it to him. And God said, I have found a man after my own heart. So that's what God is saying. Somebody that loves me. You want to please the Lord. Love the Lord with all your hearts. You want to escape from the power of sin. Love the Lord with all your hearts. You want to escape from the powers of greed evil. Have this love of Jesus in your hearts. And how do I have this love of Jesus in my heart? I must think of what the Lord has done for me. What the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all. <laughs> I must think of all that the Lord, has, the Lord has done for me. All the good things that he has done for you. Can you think of all the good things he has done for you? Where you did not merit it, God did it for you. See our sister, she shared the testimony. Possibly, maybe our sister has done a lot of bad things and evil things as a human being. But God still showed her love. Look at the testimony of our brother. Of the only people that share their testimony. Possibly, they have done one or two. But God showed you love. It is this love that God has shown you that should make you know that you should show you love also. So that's how to love God. I should love God because I should think of what He has done for me. One of the reasons I cannot sin against God, and you will not see what's come to me, I said, No. And I can I do this thing against the Lord? This God that has protected me from all the hands of the wicked world. And if I do this thing, I will lose my protection. How will I get that protection again? Then I say, No, I'm going to please the Lord. We will love the Lord with all our hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. We will love the Lord with all our hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. How can this love burn in your spirit? This love can only come inside of your mind when you receive the Lord and when you are generated by the word of God. It's because people don't have the word in their life, that's why they see the word of God. Do you know? It is lack of the word of God that makes people do some certain things. There is no way I can come to a church service as people. No matter what, I have understanding. I have spiritual understanding that changes it. At that moment, you want to sleep. An angel will come. And if you see you sleeping, you will, you will not see the blessing. I have understanding. I really have understanding that when I'm in the presence of the mighty God, I should behave myself very well. Because this God is not a very God. I must not play with him anyhow. So, it is the understanding of the word of God that keeps us away from sin. And I know God will do his work in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's go to Luke 6. Luke 6. Luke 6, 35. No. Love is the greatest. Note 635. It says here, but love near your enemies. Let me stop this. Who are your enemies? When the Bible says enemies, it means enemies. We have enemies. Which means that they look at you as a threat. But those enemies are people that do you wicked things. They do you evil. It can be your neighbor. Every time your neighbor will always fight you. You will not do anything to ask to fight you. She will come there and do this thing to you. Your enemies can be your father and your mother. Or... Hey. It's the Bible that says that the worst, your enemies will come from your own household. It's the Bible. Your enemy can even be somebody that is not jealous about your progress. Every time the person sees you progressing, you know that there are some people, they are not happy that other people are making it in life. They are not happy that you are happy. See, the only time that they will come to you, when see how you will know, do you know how to know those people that are your enemies that are not your friends? That's how I know people that are my enemies. When a good thing happens to you, they will never celebrate with you. When a bad thing happens to you, they will be the best to come here. They will always look for ah, when you have made a mistake in life. That's when they will come and begin to say, Yes, we said it. We said it. 
Stop from Jesus. We said it. We said it. I don't do this. We said it. We said it. We said it. The way it's going. The way it's going. Oh, we said it. We said it as we do this. They are just waiting for you to make one mistake in life. Okay? And that's when they will begin to use all their activity. But you know what the Lord says? You will always see such people in your life. They were dead in the life of Jesus Christ. Jesus was doing all the things he was doing. He was doing all the things. All the mighty things Jesus was doing. But one thing Jesus said, he said, hey, how would you say that you are God? Or how would you say that the Father is in you? Are you under that Moses? Are you under that Abraham? But Jesus was raising people up. They did not even say anything. Jesus was healing people. But when something happened, they were called. Those are people that are regarded as enemies. Because they do not want it. They do not want it to be better for you. But look at what the Bible now says in Luke 6. That's why when we are praying, we are not praying that God give me my uncle, give my father, give my mother, give my brother. If you kill all of them, how will they not repent? It's the spirit we are talking about. So if you have heard me pray before, I say, let them die by fire. Let all those powers come. I'm talking power, so they are not talking human being. Power, 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 spirit, spirit. We get spirit that are standing in the way. Let the fire of God set them. That's what I'm talking about. Because it is the spirit that is in that person that is making that person do you good. So me, most times, you know, we can be tempted to pray, die, 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 die. But all this kind of prayer is not, it's not even very scriptural. But there are more times you can pray that. You must realize you are not talking of a human being. That's my own part. That's my own part. No, you see the one. Oh, it's better. Let's see people die so that we marry again. Die, 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 die. Or something like that. There are people praying like that. They are praying for their wives, they are praying for their husbands. <laughs> because they are tired, so that they can marry again. I'm telling you the simple truth. I pray God will be in our lives. So don't make that prayer of this way. Don't make me a pray that the person will repent. Not that the person will die. So that you know that, yes, I'm free. I'm lost. I'm free in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, that's why it's good to be free like so. I pray God will have his way in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, Luke 6 35. It says here, but not name your enemies. So those people now that I talked about, God says you love them. Which means that when you love them, it's not that like you sit there and say, I can't do it. There was somebody like that that did so much to me. I was like, if I quit, if I quit, if I quit, they would answer you. Then when I was still, when I was still going through a lot, if I quit like that, they would answer you. Good morning, sir. That is good morning. It won't answer you. <laughs> I will be that I'll do all that I need to do. Okay, let me help. Let me watch the car. Let me watch the car for you so I'll be happy. Nothing. But what I realize is that you must keep doing that thing. There is no stopping. As in there is no ending to that thing. Keep doing it. As you are doing it, the Lord will give a great fire of gold. That fire of gold is that He will bring them to their fruits of repentance. So you must not use evil to pay evil. You must use good to pay that evil. Oh, she did this to me. I will do my own by you. Or maybe in the fellowship, that sister did. She did not call my name. She did not call my name. I've been watching her. Anytime she calls other people to see, she did not call me to see. I've been watching her. Hmm, when is my tongue also? I will not call you also. I will not call you. You know, many sisters, they are like that, you know. They can do all those things. But the Bible says, no. If that person that is doing that thing to you, you show them. Listen to me. When God allows these people in your life, God is a good God. God is helping you. God knows that. How can I know that you have conquered the power of love? It is true your enemies now. How would you know if you have love, if you don't have enemies? You must have enemies. It's the enemy that will make God to know that eh, it's like this person now that stands true love. I pray God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. But not me, your enemies, and do good. And then, Bobby for nothing a thing. So, that's why I have some principles. And do good. He says, and let, which means, if you even give, you are not hoping for something like, let me give you this so that I will get this thing from you. That's the way of the world. That's the way the world, you want to. Give me this money. I will give you good grace in school. Give me, I'll give you this. Give me, I'll give you this. There was a time it was as terrible as that. So everybody was paying a particular money. So I was asking myself, how am I going to do this? How am I going to explain? I, I said, do this for me. Out of love in my heart, I will give to you. Not 
been giving you money, you do this thing for me. Because I really see you as bribery. Then I said, I said, I wanted to start, and somebody was like, pay this money. Pay this money, we will give you, you will go to a good place. You will go to a choice, you will pass through to a better place. I said, if I pay this money now, all this preaching that I'm preaching is not issue. If I pay this money, it means that I don't want the Lord. If I begin to buy my way, it means that I don't want the Lord. There is a connection between sin and love for Jesus Christ. There is a connection between sin and love for the Lord. If you love the Lord, keep my commandments. Do you love me? Keep my commandments. And you see that there is a connection between love and sin. Love and commandments. If ye love me, keep my commandments. We will love the Lord and we will keep his word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody has seen the Lord here. You will not be struggling with some bad things. They say you should remove this. You will not struggle with that. I love the Lord. It doesn't matter to me. I remove this. They say you should not pull out this. You will not struggle with the Lord. I remove this. You, you will not die. They say you love the Lord. If you love the Lord, there are things you will not be doing. Osha. Now you don't even know his word. If you love the Lord, you will know, you will know, you, you won't be doing some certain things anyhow. I pray God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. And I was talking to somebody, somebody was asking me, you know, about the food or something like that. If you love the Lord, all those things will not be your problem. What are you using that for? Those goats, goats, those goats and goats, you may use the food. And the goats in your company, you may use the food. The dog in your compound, they use the food. Or the, the head, the chicken, or something that you are training. Do they use the food? No. Are you drinking in there? Do they use the food? I put them at you and say, smell me, you smell me. So that when you go outside, if brother of me sees you, brother of me looks me and says, no, this chicken smells me. <laughs> how are you going to be eating it? If you are smelling like that, how are you going to be eating it? So you are going to be eating chicken like that. And you want to offer fat to your father and your body like that. You're wrong with you. Chicken you cannot eat. So can you eat the chicken that is smelling with this person? Can you eat it? Sister Mary, can you eat it? I don't wash can you eat And it is so, you'll be eating that. This is smelly. You'll be eating, you are eating what? Toxic substance. Now you come to your father and say, But well, if you have not in your heart, if the Lord says this, I will be. The Lord told me a long time. There are some kind of clothes the Lord told me not to wear. Some other people can wear all those kind of trousers or jeans trousers. But for me, there are things the Lord has done. I say no. Anything you want me to do, I do. What about what is what is hard? As if what is I die? As long as I will not, I will do it. If you love the Lord, you will not be angry and say, "Should I do this? Should I not do this?" If you love the Lord, you will love your husband. If you love the Lord, you will love your wife. You will not come and carry one big stuff and eat all over. Go on. <laughs> Yes, man, because these are things that I hear why counseling people, you know. So you will not you will not begin to do all those things if you will not be loved with all your hands. There are things you will not do. There are things you will not do. If you will not be loved with all your hands, you will not begin to do some certain things. Maybe as a man, you will begin to stab your wife or something like I don't give them money, I don't do this, I don't think you will not do that. So I pray God will help us. So love is something that comes from your heart. It comes from your heart. And when that bond of love is there, even in our ministry, it's not only for the brother, the women also have their own part. If you love the Lord, you will not. Your children, you will take care of them very well. You will give them the best. Not that you are doing this. You are not wearing that thing. You are giving it to your daughter. Will she go to heaven? Or won't he go to heaven? If you love the Lord, you will not deny the man. Not, you know, this time, you know, my head is feeling or something like that. Everything is part of it. Love is a part of everything. You know, I think God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not speaking because I know these are things that people are going through, you know, but they don't want to talk about it. Luke 6. That's in Luke 6 35. He says, But love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again, and your reward shall be great. And ye shall be the children of the highest. And look at look at that. He doesn't say that you will be the children of Satan. He says, Ye shall be the children of the highest. You know what the highest? The king of glory. Ye shall be the children of glory. There's something I realize. Do you know God is proud of his children? Because I realize something that when we die someday, you will hear a word. Come into my kingdom, ye that my father loveth. 
the one that my father loved before the foundations of that, which means that there is something about God. God is monitoring those that are his children and those that are his seed. As if there is a love that God has. Oh my God, when you get to heaven, you'll be too surprised that this God is too much. The way Jesus will be looking at your eyes, you'll be like, Jesus, take away your eyes from me. Oh, this God, you will be feeling ashamed like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Sometimes it's a lot in there. But I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you how it is in heaven. You'll be looking at the eyes of Jesus. Jesus will be looking at your eyes. Jesus will say, I can't stop staring at your eyes because you are my bride. That's how it is in heaven. We are not that all these things you think you are practicing here. Where do you think you let it go? They are doing it in heaven also. As it is in heaven, let it be on this earth. Let it be like that also. In your family, to your children, you stare at your child and say, I love you, my son. So, parents can have me say, I love you, my son. I don't know. I don't know if the African mentality or the European mentality is with you. <laughs> so, parents can have me say, you know, I love you, my son. I love you, my daughter. Or so. I don't know if it's hard, you know. So, what's that? I have to look at your wife and say, I love you, my wife. You are the best thing that has ever happened to you. You don't know. Every time it's hard to get. No, no. No, 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 um, there are some questions and some people are giving some silly kind of, I don't know, some answers that are very funny, you know. So we're going to dig it up. So this love, <laughs> this love was real. It was real in our life. It was real in our ministry. Amen. Somebody did something to you. We discipline you. We discipline you because we saw that. Somebody was telling me, uh, but just, why do you remove it from that? I didn't answer the person. I, I removed it from the group because I saw that you are not asking. <laughs> do I... I say, why are you questioning that again? There are rules and regulations. You don't obey the rules. I will not look because you are my brother or you are my blood. I will not, not, not know I will face, you know. I don't smoke because these are rules and this rules needs to be met or something like that. So when we discipline, when we pass through somebody and somebody did this, you know, don't say, ah, this person hates me. Everybody must know you don't like me. That is a good truth. But in the end, what is much more is that you are doing the right thing. Everything you do, you do in love. You are giving to somebody. You are giving arms. You know, some people give to the Lord. That's the last thing I will do in my life. In my life. I use the joy. You don't understand why I do this future. I have an understanding in my spirit. That everything you do with joy and love in your heart, the Father watches you. That's why on the last day, people will be surprised. No, 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 no. I did this thing. I did this thing. And because God will not make them, they will make them. But they will ask you, Lord, you are giving up all that plenty of reward. Where's my reward? And Jesus will say, I know you did that, but you didn't quit in your life. I know you did the work of ministry. You planted many churches, but you didn't quit in your life. I know you were winning souls. You lost souls, but you don't love the people in your heart. You didn't quit the Lord. That's why the first thing in my life is to love the people first. Love them, love them, love them in your heart. Pray for them in your heart. Love them. So Jesus is saying, yes, you did it. You gave me, you gave me, you gave me, yes. You contributed to that project, but you did it with your love. You are doing it progeny in your heart. I'm even tired of these people. Let me not be that I did not even give. And let me not give this. You have wasted your money, your money. It's not free of charge. Your money is not worth it. We don't use your money for you will not get zero blessing. I'm telling you the simple truth. Anything you are doing, do it in love. Do it in love in your heart. Be happy, be joyous. We are singing, we are dancing. I don't know if it's holiness. Some people are not dancing, some people are not singing. Did they tell you that so if I'm dancing, it's about to have less holy. <laughs> All this mentality, anything you do, do it in love in your heart. Love, joy, peace. You'll be surprised when you get to heaven, when you see when the angels are dancing to the Father. You're like, hey, angels, you people are dancing like this because they say it's our God. If we don't dance, who are we? Who are they going to dance to? They dance to this mighty God. They do it in love. They say we love the Lord in our hearts. That God is so in heaven. Everybody there carries the presence of God. That 
perish your God thinks that God does not need to say his disciple for worship. Everybody knows his disciple for worship. Because I don't know how God does this. At least as this I cannot understand. My head sometimes I'm thinking of the outline. But as in which kind of history, my head cannot understand this thing. Everybody thinks like if it's time for worship now, we don't need to say or share it like we do in Rem. Yes, very funny. We have to share ID, share ID, share ID. Everybody knows it's time like for fellowship with the Lord. If they are they know because everybody's spirit is connected in love with the Father. There's a connection in heaven. So, my wife, when we go there now, we'll be very surprised. It might be time for worship. <laughs> <laughs> because you cannot live there. Lord, I want to rest. I want to sleep small. Let me sleep small now. Let me sleep small. You know, I'm not stressed. I just said we should wash you. Should no, that's not the thing, heaven, Lord. I said, don't go there and you come at this place also. When you go there, they say, Where are you from? Say, it's from one place, friend, like that. No, that's not the thing. In heaven, Everybody does everything with love. Is that not in your hands? That brother will pay them you. Maybe that man was the one that gave you those children. And you are a single mother. He will say, I will never forgive this man for what this man did. You will not go to help me. You know? <laughs> that happens in your mind now. If you, if you say, I will not forgive, I will not forgive. When I get to heaven, that's when I will ask God. You will not ask God. It's crucified, you'll be asking questions. <laughs> because it doesn't matter we charge you very well. You, there's nothing like that. On earth, you perfect love. When you perfect the love here, yeah, you carry to that here. Without true love, you cannot serve God. That's why you're rare. Some of the workers here, they start. You know why? They don't love the Lord. You tell them, this, 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 this. Yeah. They don't love the Lord. There's no love. Because if you love God, you will serve better. It is because our president, Bari, does not love this country. That's why he's doing all this rubbish that he's doing. It is because many of all these presidents, all this African youthless president, they don't love God. They don't love the people. If you love the people, you will serve them better. You will not understand what bad leadership does. Let me tell you what bad leadership does. Bad leadership takes people to hell faster. I will show you why. If there's a bad road, do you know that on that bad road, many people will catch us there. Don't people take it as it is. Many of them are not prepared for it. They will go to hell. Why? Because of the bad leadership. If there is a bad car or bad motorist, and before you know it, everywhere is such a bad, you need to put up bridge. You need to put up stage of the things you want to put up. And before you know, people are putting on the road. And this person is putting this person on the road. I say, fuck well, you need to receive very well. See what will happen. At that moment, if Jesus comes, they will never make it. Even if they die, a minute or after that minute, nothing will speak. They just tell them, you spoke to that driver anyhow on the road because you were driving and you were angry. You cannot enter him. Are you seeing how bad leadership can cause all these things? Because of bad leadership, billions and millions of souls are lying there. That's why many of these people do not get to heaven. They are doomed. Because they are sold, they are sold their nations to Satan. I pray God will help us in the mind of Jesus. Yeah. So I'm trying to let you know that love brings about true service to God. You love God, you're not telling that after six you are coming to service. Six twenty, six ten. You think God is your boy that you love God and say, I have to come to church. I have to come to church. God, how are you? Are you fine? No. Nah. <laughs> All those things don't work in heaven like that. You come to God, you come early. There are only few people here that I think if I call their names now, you'll be very surprised. I know that every time they have been here, almost before six or before ten. Or before any day, they will just be here waiting. Why would God be blessing them? Why would heaven be blessing them? Why would they be sharing testimony every day of their life? You don't understand this. It might not be too much of prayer that, uh, that you are shaking. That are it's not about too much of prayer. The obedience, true love brings about obedience to the Lord. I'm speaking to you from my heart. I'm not even reading anything. I'm not speaking to you from my heart. Because this is what true love can do. Obedience. Are you obedient to the Lord? Since your clock, you know you have looked at the time. The angel is watching you. You don't know if they are watching you. They don't have sense. People that are wiser than us, people that have stayed billion and trillion of years before they take them to your eye, they are watching you. It was six o'clock. They are watching you. You say, I will come later. Let me just put this thing. Six o'clock, they are watching you. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. She says she loves God. She says she. 
Six or five, she's here. She has not gone to the church. Six is ten. They are watching you. They said, let's go. She's not ready. And they take her blessing and go. Are you seeing why you can come to church? Hallelujah. 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 Okay, so God washes out for all these things. If I even expect that, if I do put somebody, let the person do that same thing to me or something like that. But I come to realize it's not like that. In short, the people you do come to and the people that you don't reciprocate is back to you. But God still calls me to love them. Are you going to react like that? So I found I'm still a very bad person. I mean bad person. Do you still love me? And do you still say, I'm going to still love you? No matter what he has done. Or you are even praying against him. What am I saying this? If there is no love, there can be only answers to prayer, even in the family. I told you in the universe service one time that there are three trajectories to answers to prayer. Your family, your individual life, then the church. So, is that love you? Is that love in your fellowship? Is that love in your country fellowship? Is that love in our hearts? You see that one of our brother is not feeling fine. One of our sister is not feeling fine in the country fellowship. Or one of our sister lost somebody. I mean, take time and say, let me write to this person. Let me call this person. Or like, I can I call this person? Who is she? Who is she that I'm going to be able to call you? Who is she? Who is he that I'm even going to be calling? Too much of pride. Pride is one of the things that make us want to go. So much of pride. Let them stand up. So much of pride. I pray God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's choose to learn. It is better to learn. Mark, Mark 12, 31. Mark 12, 31. Okay. No, that's the one. Not this one. That's the one. He says, and the second is like, namely this. That you can love thy neighbor as thyself. Who is thy neighbor? Who is this your neighbor? Your neighbor is not necessarily somebody that is in your house, living close to you. Your neighbor are people that are around you, in the church, everywhere. As long as they are around you, they are your neighbor. So you know what God is saying? Before you show those people across love, show the ones that are close to you love. There is a saying in Hebrew average that love begins at home. It is from your home that you start love. You, or it is from your home that you become beautiful. So let it begin from there. Then you transcend it. I pray God will help us to love. And the true test of love is that there will be offenses. The true test of love is that people will do you evil. The true test of love is that you might face the law of opposition. The true test of love is that people might revive you. Are you still going to love them? I pray that God is going to pour this love in our hearts in the mighty name. Of Jesus Christ. Amen. Like, like I said, you know, I realize that every city, 
anything that happens in your body is for a purpose. It's for a purpose. There are people that will give you substantive things. God is watching us if you are it. I must have told us this before that this brother will know. If it was then, I used to be like, ah, this brother, this brother, this thing is due to me. Eh? If I have my way, I will give back to him. And I was having a problem with a particular church then. Then it was the one that you can imagine you came to church and somebody chased you and told you, go out of the church. Oh my God, there's one of the biggest humiliations. Everybody was just with me because I was just communicated from the church. Or so, or they are like this, but I still stop Or so, you will not hear what you because because of my testimony. So I had a lot of problems like that. And this brother was a lot paranoid. But all of a sudden, what I think that this brother came to me and said, "Brother, children, please be prayer." That same brother that was like a pastor to me said, "Pray for me, you know, please." And I asked myself, "I felt like crying, but." I realized that if I say I have love in my heart, I should show you much love. It should now me and this brother, we are, we are very good friends. We are very good friends now. Yeah. We are very good friends. We can talk, we can chat, send this problem, and I'm like, okay, this what I think you should do, or something like that. Why did God allow that thing to happen? It was for a purpose. God allowed it to happen because he wanted to know if truly I have love in my heart. There are See that God will allow to happen in your life. He wants to know if truly you have love for that person. And love will be shown when you are able to climb the heart of hatred and tell hatred, get away from my life. I'm going to pass you. I know God will do it in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I hope for today we are going to start loving one another in our fellowship. We are going to start loving our brothers and our sisters. We are going to start loving everybody that we find around us. Those that have done us harm, those that have done us evil, I hope and I believe that we are going to start loving them. In our country fellowship, we are going to love one another. In your heart, desire to love. Love is a choice. Make a choice to love. Make a choice that no matter what happens, I'm still going to love this person. And if you want to truly know if you love somebody, one of the ways, if you want to conquer, maybe you are like, how am I going to conquer this love? How am I going to love this? This person has not given to me. Pray for the person. Just call the person pray and Lord. Bless this my sister. Bless her. I know it will be hard to, but for you to make that work, I'm telling you, everyone will be shaking. Lord, this is my sister that did this thing to me. Bless her today. Let her prosper. Let good things happen to you. You sure you wanted to bless me, don't bless me anymore. Go and bless her. <laughs> I'm telling you the simple truth. I'm not telling you what I've done with God. But I know in my data, but because many of you might be asking, but I'm trying to say, how can I overcome this? But I know I hate it. I don't even like this person. But I hate this person. I don't hate this person. Into I know that people I don't I don't hate them. <laughs> but to conquer fasting, it's not by too much of fasting and prayer. Just pray for the person. Make the person the center of your prayer. Oh Lord, this my God. Oh Lord, I know that he does not have a job. Give me a job. Oh Lord, do this thing. Do this good thing for me. Oh Lord, let him not suffer in his life. Prosper his ways. Anything he lays his hand for, if you want for it in the name of Jesus. When you just say, heaven will say, ah. Uh, uh, this person is not like Jesus Christ. Eh? This person is not like Jesus. Eh? Because the thing that will make you to do that thing is the spirit of Jesus Christ. I'm giving you another you're supposed to do. Do it. Do it. Whatsoever you do, God will do it also. Whatsoever you do to the rest of my brothers, that may be done to me. When I let's rise up, I mean Now enter into the hope of my Father. Whatsoever you do to the rest of my brothers, 
sister, because there are many of our sisters now that they have somebody in mind. That sister was forever. <laughs> For the work of God and for the move that we have. 
And I pray that God will have his way in the mighty name of Jesus. So it's not used to buy private jets. It's not used to buy to divert into somebody's income. No, 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 no. It's all being used for the propagation of the gospel. And I pray that God will help them. So, my brothers and sisters, let's do well to always ensure we give to the Lord. There are many people in red, much to not. They will never pay their tithes. They will never give to their offering. Their country coordinator will talk to them. Talk to them. They will say, no, no, no. But she will say, this thing is just the little that the government gave us for this. Yes, the government gave it to you freely. You also have to take 10 percent out of it. I can remember the first scholarship I got. I have to take 10% out of it and give to the Lord. Even though in my shallow understanding, I did not understand it. I have to give them. Because the brother told me something that changed the whole life to talk about some substances. So I said, I'm going to talk about it. So that he will not say, I don't like to talk about some substances. You see, I'm not afraid to preach about some things, okay? So please, let's try. Let's give him our time and offer it for the work of God. And I pray God will help us. So desire that. In the new ones that we are entering, I'm not going to be owing the Lord. I'm going to be giving God my best. Just like you. Abel gave to the Lord his best. And if you do it secretly, the Lord that has seen you doing it secretly will bless you. There's nothing like a bulletin for tight and nothing. We write your name, we put in the publish it, you pay your time with my kids. There's nothing like that. You know, that's a church that has passed it. If we start doing that in red, you know that we are fasting. Call me back to my attention. I said, but you say, are you people not writing it in your place? I assure you to take your cast. Cast for five and one That's rubbish. It's not so in the kingdom. It's not your place to be so because everything your left hand is doing, your right hand does not know about it. Even when you give to the Lord for our account project, we don't publicize it and say, Sister, give this, get the highest amount of money. You will not be going here say that we do this thing with five billion dollars or five billion dollars. It's not what it should do. Secretly, you should do it. And God that has seen you doing it secretly will reward you open. That's why people don't get blessed openly. They do it in open for sure so that people can see. Even if God has used you mightily, we want to keep it secret so that your children, I believe it's a destiny. And the Lord said that there are things that people do right now. Their children, children will prevent this from you. That's what I realized that. The same way there is a generational curse, there's also something called generational blessing. Anything I do, my children, children, will, they might not know why it is working out for them. They don't know that their father or their mother has done something great for the Lord. And now the family is blessed. I pray that we will have spiritual understanding in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And also, another thing I must say again is that give to a father's soul. Don't give to a place that they are promoting worthiness, that they are promoting Antichrist gospel, that they are because you are a part of it. It yes. shows they go to hell. You are also a part of it. Also, I've made this thing and I've given my money to places that I know that they are not their idolatry, they are doing all kinds of things. And I know that God forgave me because it was in the taste of my ignorance. There is no need giving, and you know that this day they are all using it, and the pastor is using it to buy private chairs, and the pastor is using it to enrich, he's building mansions, 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 and all the mansions will be still going to his children at the end of time. It doesn't happen like that here, you know. I pray that God will help us to have wisdom, knowledge, truth. And understanding to give rightly to the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I said, I'm going to speak now. I spoke on the day. I think God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I hand over to the coordinator. God bless you. Let's remember, we have by five a sister fellowship. All the sisters be here, you know. And um, um, we are supposed to be having a branch fellowship. But I think I don't have to repent. I think we're going to do something about that. So, for Sunday, for the real one, but for Vincent, every one of those, you know, all the brothers, by five, we are also going to have our own meeting. I think for Sunday, we set the idea for the meeting, anyone. Okay, but for Sunday, we set the idea so that we can meet all the brothers. And please call everybody from the brothers' fellowship room so that they can join. Um, the fellowship. And I know God will put in our life. By the grace of God, from next week, we will be taking a new shape. I will not let us know what, what that is. But some certain things will be well organized by the grace of God. But in everything, everything we do is all a way to move the best way forward. And about to be content of God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you for that wonderful message.
more grace to you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Um, I believe we are all blessed today. Okay, let's open our mouth. Let's begin to pray for the man of God. Let's pray for him that every strength that has gone out from him, let God receive him in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to pray for the man of God. You can mute your mic and pray. Pray for him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God Almighty, we thank you, Lord, for worship. <laughs> Okay, my Lord. This hour, let's let's open our mouth. Let's continue. Let's continue in prayer. Let's pray for him. Let's ask God for the for His protection, for for His for His protection, for more grace of life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to ask God to protect him for more strength, strength, more anointing upon his life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. May this hour, let's open our mouth. Let's thank God for the word that we have heard today. Let's thank God for today's service, for, for making everything successful. Let's begin to thank God Almighty for today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus mighty name we are praying. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, today we have uh, we have uh, only communion service today. Oh, praise the Lord. So it's time for offering. Tithe and offering. Offering time. Blessing time. time. Okay, before I call on our sister to give us offering song, let me quickly explain how to pay in our tithe and offering. You can pay in your tithe and offering direct to the man of God account or direct to the ministry account. You can also do that paper. Hallelujah. Um, I think that we're going to be going to commence after the service, after the service, after the service, after the service. Praise the Lord. 
So I come now, our sister, sister Sandra, please give us some for the offering. My God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Can you hear me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope you are all blessed today. Please yes. let's give our offering and our tithes with happiness and joy. I pray as we do that, may the Lord bless us and multiply us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my job is Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Sister Sandra. I believe we are all done with our tithes and offering. Okay. God bless you. I hand over to Sister Jacqueline. God bless you, ma. Amen. God bless you, Sister Marie. Amen. I believe it's time for I believe it's time for our communion service. And over to the man of God. Jesus' name. Lord. I hope I ready for our communion service. We all speak Christian. Uh, and uh, and as let us know that uh, we don't just take this or take this 
we take this in fulfillment of scripture and we show that we are really part of the body of Jesus Christ. Some of these things are spiritual significance, just like baptism is. Baptism is to show that we are united with Jesus. And And we are united with Jesus and we are died and we are risen with him. Taking this communion also has the spiritual significance that also that we are part of the body of Jesus Christ, which means that we are one body with him, united with him in one spirit, united with him in one faith, united with him in one faith. And I Pray. And I pray that God will have his way in our life. In the name of Jesus Christ. So, we're going to look at our first Corinthians. Eleven seventeen. It says, Now in things that I desire to you, I praise you, not that. You come together not for the better, but for the worst. For the first and when you come together in the church, I hear that there is division among you. I partly believe it. So, if there is anything in your life, in your heart, that you are not put right in the world, then you are not worthy to take it, except you put it right in the world. If you are in great tumor or, or in great, how am I going to put it? You are not in fellowship with the world, then you should not. Have the power to take it because it's also very, very dangerous. You know, he says in verse 27, Let the reservoir shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord. All one So, this is not a jamboree where you don't go to any church and say, Let me give me, give me, give me, let me drink. Let me know. It's not like that. He says, All one shall be duty of the body and blood of the Lord. Look at verse 15. But the same man says, But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread, of that bread, and drink of that cup. So we're going to take a minute of silence, examine yourself in the Lord right now. If you are going to be counted worthy to take this, you need to examine yourself, examine yourself, examine yourself. Examine yourself. Joking in between. Somebody keeps feeding you. Somebody keeps feeding you in your dream. I believe that as we take this right now, I believe that this is going to not be bad. And we look every evil thing that is in our body, that is not of the glory of God, that we are unknowingly taking, that we have been. That we are already taken. And I pray that God is going to help us in the name of Jesus Christ. And I hope every one of us, we are with our bread, we are with our wine, we are with our bread, we are with our wine, 
and I'm just going to read the words, pray over it. Then we are going to we are going to take this. Okay. So we are not taking this because you know because we want to eat. You know, if we want to eat, there is food in our house to eat. But we are taking this in fulfillment of God's word. We are taking this in fulfillment of God's word. And I know that God will have this way. So we can prepare our bread. The bread is on living bread, you know, without yeast. And the wine is wine without no trace of alcohol. You know. And I pray God will have this way in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, and it says here, they are eating, everywhere they can return to Adam, it's not so bad. And if one is hungry, one is hungry and another is drunk, what are they will not ask to eat or to drink? So, the Lord is trying to admonish us not to do this just for our own fleshy desire, trying to eat. But to understand the significance of what we are trying to do. We are partaking with him in glory. We are trying to make him know that just as his body was shared for us, in the same way also we are united with him. We are united with him by the resurrection of his body, and we are united with him through his special bread that he has blessed us with. We might not be able to understand the fullness of this tree of the commandments of Jesus. But when we get to heaven something, we will understand. That there is a deep reason why the Lord has commanded this to be done. And the Bible says, Do this in remembrance of me. Some passages do this in memory of me until we come to glory. He says in verse 23, I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you, that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed, the same night in which he was betrayed. He took bread. He took bread, and uh, I believe he gave it thanks. And when he had given thanks, he broke the bread. He broke the bread, and he says, "Take this. Take this. This is my body, which is broken for you." And he says. Do this, this do in remembrance of me. After this same manner also, after this same manner, also he took the cup. And he had sought, and when he had sought, when he had taken something, when he had eaten, when he had sought, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. Please do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Heavenly Father, King of all glory, Lord, as we take this wherever your children are, Lord, let me bless them be sanctified, Lord, wherever they are putting it from the shop, from the grocery stores, oh Lord, God Almighty, from the shop right, wherever they are putting that in their locality, Lord, let me bless in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. We bless, oh Lord, God Almighty, the bread. And the wine that they have gotten, which has the significance of the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let me be sanctified, Lord, by the blood of heaven, the King of glory, the one that died on the cross of Calvary 2,000 years ago for us, Lord. Oh Lord, we do this in remembrance of ye, till ye come in glory to take us home. And that great day, that day, Lord God Almighty, we will remember that when we are edged, we did this. And in heaven, someday we will do this with you. You, Lord, with a cloud of angels and a cloud of witnesses all over there. Oh, Lord God Almighty, is there any power distressing your children in their body? I command and I release the fire of God. As we begin to take this, let it purify them in the name of Jesus Christ. Any arrow of darkness, any witch passing, anything they are eating, any flesh, any human flesh that they have been fed with, any human blood they have been fed with in their dream, I command it to disappear as they take this in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this sound as purification. Let this sound as purification and healing in their body. Amen. Let them begin to get miracles in every part of their life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. But Jesus Christ will be Amen. We eat and we drink this to the glory of God. God bless you. It is blessed in Jesus. He is 
man of God. I call upon I call upon Sister Joy. Sister Joy, please could you give us closing prayer? Let us close our eyes. My father, I just to God 
We are grateful to you, Lord, for today's service, oh God. We appreciate you for your blessing. We thank you, Lord Jehovah Nisi. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration because you are mighty God. We thank you for the message, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that even your servant that you used to bless us. We ask, oh God, that you blessing. We thank you, Lord Jehovah Nisi. As we have heard your word, oh Lord, we ask, oh God, that your word should be a fruit in our life, oh God. Your word, oh God, should change our world way. Your word of God to transfer our life, oh God. We thank you for everything you have done, Lord. We give you praise or honor. Let your name alone be glorified, Jehovah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask, oh God, Jehovah, don't allow the enemy to steal away your word in our life, oh God, because the devil is a thief. Every spirit that will make us to not be partaker of your word, to not be obedient to your word. May you cast them in our life, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask, oh God, Jehovah, this is, as we're about to so if we are not living your presence, we ask for your presence to be by us, eh, to follow us, oh God. Even our life, oh God, we cover our life with the blood of Jesus. We cover everyone here with the blood of Jesus. Even your servant that you have used, oh God, to bless us. Baba, may you bless him in hundredfold. May you receive him, oh God. May you uphold him, oh God. The more grace, more anointing upon his life, oh God. We give you all the glory. We thank you for all you have done. Our blessing that you have given us, oh God. It will remain permanent in our life. We seal our blessing with the name of the blood. Lord of Jesus, we cover our, our life, our family, our loved ones. Even this week, oh God, we ask that you take charge, take control of our life, oh God. Thank you, Lord, because you have had us, oh God. In Jesus' powerful name, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, sister. Joy. Let, us share. Let, us share. Let us take our monthly declaration. This is our month of divine enlargement. This is my month of divine enlargement. To break the four walls of hell with our substance. To break the four walls of heaven to my divine substance. And, and to bring more souls to the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. To bring more souls to the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. So help me God. So help me God. And the people of God say, Amen. Amen. Let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God the Father, and the true fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest in our Amen. Surely, God's goodness and all the days of our lives, and in the house of God, forever. Amen. Amen. God bless us all for coming in Jesus' name. Cheers. Oh, is out. Hello? Yeah. Shalom, 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 shalom. Mm-hmm.